the project Taylor Made Space Balloon was a is a joint project with a friend in the village uh, called Ed Bishop. Yeah, we started ten months ago, and apart from uni and me doing work uh, over those few months, we built up the project. A lot of people are thinking, you know, I use, spent a lot of money using the most high-tech technology, but it really was stuff you can go down to your shop and buy, polystyrene box, hand warmers, a couple of cameras, um, and a GPS tracking device. It was a perfect launch day. I mean, the skies were clear, the wind was low, everything was on charge, ready to go. We set it up, put some more gaffer tape on it for, for more security, and um, sent it up. We then set on our way to the predicted landing spot and uh, just waited for a couple of hours trying to track it, although we'd lost signal. We figured it would be landing within the area um, and unfortunately it landed a bit further away than that. The next morning uh, I woke up and decided to give it one last shot on the GPS tracker and we got location reports, um, but they were around about three to four kilometres out in the North Sea, just uh, floating there. I phoned up the guys um, from the UK High Altitude Society who had helped out. They decided to try and get a boat to go out and pick it up, um, which we did. And this boat called No Worries went out and, and collected it. Um, and it had somehow managed to survive 15 hours floating overnight in the North Sea in the cold. We opened the lid, got, the, got all the contents and the cameras out, plugged it into the Mac and um, unbelievably we saw some incredible footage, um, you know, four to six hours worth of footage, so really brilliant stuff. Yeah, well, looking at the, the facts of the flight, um, it went, we were expecting around about 100,000 feet, it went to 118,000 feet in the end, um, which would probably explain why it drifted so far from the predicted landing spot. And so the, the overall flight time was around three to four hours. Um, which is quite a long time for a weather balloon. What I like to do with my projects is, is have something that anyone can do. You know, you, you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds to do it, but you can still achieve impressive results from whatever it is you're doing. So, um, yeah, plenty of stuff in the pipeline.